today I just wanted you guys to come in today and just kind of just talk about what the women's ministry mean to you and kind of how you got here and how the Lord has used the women's ministry to impact you so Ashley, would you like to start tonight? Sure. Yeah. So I heard from the men and women's ministry, I think through probably just um, the screen at church on Sunday. Um, and then I told Heather, I said, let's go. Like, or actually, maybe she said, let's go. But anyway, <laughs> all I knew was that I wanted to be there because I love women and I love Jesus and we need each other. So. I knew that was something I didn't want to miss. Um, it really encouraged me to hear, um, I think Nora spoke that night, um, just, you know, to explaining simple ways um, on how to share the gospel. Um, you know, I took notes on my phone and I've just, you know, kind of looked over it ever since. But um, really just the relationships that I made too. Um, I got to connect with Chelsea yeah. and um, I've been praying for her. And um, it's just nice to know that, you know, we're not doing life alone. And that, you know, if I'm having, you know, a bad day, like I know every single one of these women have got my back, you know, like they're gonna be praying for me. Um, you know, they love Jesus, so they love me too, you know, and it's just, <laughs> It's really good, so I will definitely be back, and I'll definitely keep coming. Good. What about you, Miss Acock? Miss Acock. <laughs> <laughs> um, like for me, I kind of know about women's ministry a lot because I've just been a part of Pebble for such a long time. But I've really enjoyed coming because my friends and I we really like look up to y'all, and so getting to come and be like worship with people that we really mm -hmm. look up to, and getting to see y'all. Like when y'all shared and stuff, like at the last one about fear and things like that, like some of my friends and I were there and we really connected to that. Mm -hmm. So I really like enjoy getting to spend that time, like just as the women and getting to know you guys better. So. I love it. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jayla? How has the women's ministry impacted your walk with the Lord? Um, well, I feel like I, I kind of phased into the women's ministry because I've obviously like been a member of Hopeful since I was four. And so um, for a while, like women's ministry to me was like a separate little thing. Like even as I got older, I was like, oh, this can't be me. But like as I've um, kind of grown in my walk with the Lord and gotten older, um, God's just like made it very obvious that this ministry is my current, like, this is my current, like, what do you call it, like, your mission field, like, this is my mission field working with women, and so, um, really, Allison, she asked me, um, late last year to, like, be a part of leadership for women's ministry, and like I said, like, I, I was phasing into it, and so, like, at that point, I was, like, who am I to be on a leadership team for, like, women when I'm barely, like, I'm new to this, you know, but, like, God, like, of course, like when it's God ordained, like He confirms it in 20,000 different ways. And so, um, like even forming relationships, like inquire, like Heather and Ashley, like have um, connect with Chelsea and like just spending time with Kendall, like in d and just different um, places. Like I've gotten to know all these ladies, you know? And so it's just, it's sweet and it means so much to me because I do think that um, women are so important in like, lives of like it, your families like we have such an influence um, to everyone around us you know and so it's important that we have um, times like this that we gather together that we can be encouraged by each other and encourage other people you know mm -hmm. because we all need our arms held up sometimes so mm -hmm. I don't know that's it's just sweet to me that we have women who are willing to be here and encourage other people. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, I know that I always see you here with your mom, and I think that's sweet that you and your mom are doing life together. So can you tell us a little bit what the women ministry just means to your family overall? Um, so we're obviously a relatively new family here at Hopewell. We've only been going here like four years. So it was really nice to be able to come in and like meet, like obviously I feel like Jayla and I got closer from doing this, um, and then meet all you guys like Ashley and be able to connect. Um, it's just made a new connection throughout the church and just special because my mom and I can get plugged in that way. Um, we were very plugged in at our old churches, so um, our church that we were at before. So it was just nice to be able to come in and get to know some people and connect that way. So, Miss mm. Betty, you're fairly new to Hopewell, but you just kind of jumped in and got away with it. So tell us. I had help. <laughs> so 
tell us how did you even get to be a part of the women's ministry? Because you well, serve every time we do women's ministry. I, I do because that's my passion. That's what the Lord put me here for. And he just wants me to be busy. Mm. And I've been very busy. And I've had Joyce. I met Joyce when I first came about a year and a half, almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I love this place. Love it, it. Is, it is so beautiful, so anointed. And I don't know all the ladies, mm -hmm. but I want to know all the ladies. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to talk with them and pray with them and, you know, be there for them if they need something. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, well, I guess I have a lot to do. I started to say I didn't have a lot to do, but I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, like I, I like to help with the ladies' retreat. I like to help with D-Nail. Mm -hmm. And anything that's going on in the choir, I love, because mm -hmm. it's like being in my family. I love it. So this church and the ladies and everybody that's that I've met has been a blessing in my life. I and, I, and I really love it. It's just... It's just anointed here. Mm -hmm. You just feel at home. Mm -hmm. You feel blessed. Mm -hmm. Hey, Heather. <laughs> Heather is kind of like special to me, y'all. She is somebody that I did meet at Women's Ministry. So I feel like that you, I mean, all of you, but for sure, like you have just been someone that has came and was like, hey, yay, let's do this. So tell us a little bit about what the Women's Ministry has meant for you and just your walk with the Lord. Well, like Ashley said, you know, we saw it on the announcements and one of us, I don't remember who, we're like, let's go. So we went and um, through that, I met Allison Walker, who's my prayer buddy. And I can, every week she sends me a message and it can be like, you know, she knows, it seems like she just gets it at the right time when I need it. And I feel like coming to women's ministry, you know, we connect with these women and you know you're not alone. Like we, we could be having the roughest week, you know, the kids aren't listening to a word you say all week or just, you know, the list goes on and on, what can be going on, but you're not alone. And just to have that prayer buddy and all these other women to connect with that can pray for you. Um, that's just been really encouraging and special to me to learn too from all these women. So mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah. And Miss Rachel, mm -hmm. aka mm -hmm. my mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it's a little different. Um, I was a member of Hope Web, but I'm not anymore. But I, I still love coming here. And um, the women ministry is special to me because of my daughter. She's my rock. She always says I'm the matron of the family. But she's the rock of, of my family and um she helps me. And all the ladies in the women ministry, it's like you say, you can call on them anytime and they're there to pray for you and pray with you. Um we had a family situation with my daughter and I got on that phone and I called Allison. And for you know it, they had a prayer team with that for my daughter. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome, and I miss Hope well, and I'm slowly but surely working my way back. <laughs> That'll make her very happy. But um, the women ministry is awesome. It really is. And uh, I've learned a lot. It's helped me a lot in my praying. It really has. And, um, I bought a book from me at the last one pray like this mm -hmm. and, um, it has really really helped me praying I mean I used to pray but I never used to pick up the Bible and read it and learn and now I'm learning how to pray mm -hmm. because coming to the women's ministry has taught me a lot and I mean I just love it it's awesome and you can always call on someone and they're willing to pray with you no matter what, no matter what time of the day, morning, night it is, they're always willing to pray with you. Mm -hmm. So it really means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. <laughs> yes. 
So you kind of like Miss Betty, like I remember asking you, would you be willing to help serve every time we did women's ministry to kind of like greet the women to make them feel welcome. So can you just tell us a little bit how you just feel like being a servant for the women's ministry, how it's impacting you and how you just, you know, you yourself have grown in it just from being a part of the ministry. All the women here are special to me because like Rachel said, you can just call any of them at any time and they're always here. And I think that we're made to serve. God calls us to serve. Mm. Sometimes we try to back out, then we can't sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> then we text Lakeisha at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but um, the second men's, women's night that we had was the night before the two-year anniversary of Jake's death. Mm. And you know, that was very hard on me. And I had all these women here praying for me. Mm -hmm. And it was so hard. And I think the second year was worse than the first year, mm -hmm. losing him. And then even the next morning before I even got out of the bed, I had like eight text messages mm -hmm. saying, I love you, I'm praying for you today. And that helped me to get up. Don't and anytime it. I need prayer, I know I can call on anybody mm -hmm. in here or any of the women. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well, I just want you ladies to know that there would be no women's ministry without you all. So it is very encouraging to me, like I see, to see like Kendall, like who's just a young lady. And then, of course, my daughter, Jayla, and then Chelsea and Ashley and Heather, and then my mom and Miss Betty and Joyce. You know, y'all, we need each other. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's like you all have boys that, like, without one another, we don't make it. So mm -hmm. I just hope and pray that you guys will continue to be encouraged to continue to come. And for those of you that you have friends and family that are not involved in church, invite them. Because I can assure you that the Spirit is here mm -hmm. and it's anointing. So thank you all for your time this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.